Next on BBC Two, Kelly Monteith strives for laughs as he continues to strain the special relationship between America and Great Britain. What a stupid cup. I mean, there's no way in the world you could get your finger through that handle. <laughs> Might look pretty, but I'll bet that's lethal. This is very nice. Oh, this china is interesting. Mr. Monteith. Your fingers are... Uh, Mr. Monteith. Yes. yes. Ooh! <laughs> Hi, I'm Kelly Monteith, and welcome to episode eight of Kelly Monteith BBC Memories. I remember this. Uh, this always amazed me about the BBC. This little, what, two-line uh, sketch or scene, and look at the uh, production values they put in. We had the extras, we had the women around there, we had the whole set. It was amazing what they what they did, but uh, the results were something that. Um, I really, I really enjoyed, you know. Uh, it's amazing when you have this stuff in your head and then you see it all come to life. It's kind of amazing when you think about it. This next couple of scenes are about um, the hazards of going on holiday and the things that um, you might, well, that you should never do on holiday, like this. But there's some things I've learned that you should never do on a holiday. Never, but never dance with a flamenco dancer in a Spanish nightclub. You know, my feet were never the same after doing that little scene. This next scene takes place in a German restaurant and secretly, I probably always had the impulse to do this. See what you think. Never play a practical joke in a restaurant in Germany. Hey, Suzanne. Yes. Watch, this is something I've always wanted to do. Heil Hitler! Heil Hitler! <laughs> Ein joke? American. For you, the meal is over. Ross, Matt, he's late. Okay, maybe it's my sick, perverted mind, but I always kind of had that impulse. Um, and it was not easy to do that because we had a lot of the, the people to, to give that phrase um, the proper uh, boost. We had a lot of the people from the cast and the crew behind the scenes yelling that, that phrase, the Heil Hitler thing. And you gotta f think this was like a uh, little over 35 years after the war and there were still a lot of bad feelings uh, f from the British about, uh, about it, obviously. Continuing with the theme of uh, going on holiday, we would say vacation here, but in Britain, it's always holiday. Ah, buonasera, signore. Buonasera. Welcome to the Hotel Leonardo. Thank you. And how may I be of service to you? Well, I have a reservation. My name is Monty. Monty. Uh, could you spell that for me, signore? Yes, yeah, M is in Mussolini. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I mean, uh, Milan. Milan. Uh, o N T E I T H. I'm so sorry, signore. I have no reservation in that name here. Well, it's got to be there. I booked it through Markdown Tours. Markdown? Mamma mia. You are with a package tour? Uh, yeah. Uh, you want my colleague. He's an ex door package tour. Porca miseria. <laughs> 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 All right, I am coming. Okay. Uh, what do you want? My name's Monteith. And we all got the problems. Well, I got a reservation. I'm with Markdown Tours. Hmm. You got it, the cheats. <laughs> Have I got the what? I said you got the cheats. The cheats. Look. Don't you travel agency give you the cheats? You mean these vouchers? That's what I said. All the time I say the cheats. Yeah. Sign the book. Yeah. There. 
I'd like a, a room with a view, please. You want a window? <laughs> yeah, it would be nice. Okay, that's extra. How much? 200,000 million a year. <laughs> What's that in English money? Oh, you say, uh, 60p. <laughs> And this next scene, we've got, we're going to, um, there again, we're con continuing on the holiday scene, is when uh, Gabriel and I, my wife Suzanne in the, in the series, go to the beach, which we filmed down in Devon, um, supposedly on a summer day, but in England the summer days aren't like what we consider summer days here. <laughs> they can be damn chilly. Uh, but anyway, uh, check it out. There between those two big dunes. I beg your pardon. <laughs> no, no I, I didn't mean to. I, I, I meant those dunes. <laughs> this is fine. All right, I'll, 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 I'll settle we'll... in then. Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> what are you trying to do, Squire? Kill me? Well, how was I supposed to know you were there? You shouldn't let your kid bury you like that. Wasn't him. It was the wife. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh. Hey! <laughs> careful, Kelly. Huh? You're putting sand all over me. Oh. <laughs> no, frisbee. Idiot. <laughs> Some of this on my back. How come I uh, never get a chance to do the interesting part? <laughs> We'd never get any sunbathing done. <laughs> Enough? Mm. Okay, hold this. In. Right. Now, would you do mine? Sorry, I can't. My top's undone. <laughs> Kelly, why don't you relax? I can't relax in the sun. I know I'm gonna burn. Got that kind of skin, you know? If I was any whiter, I'd be clear. <laughs> I don't know how you do it, anyway. How you lay out and bake like this. Just, there's nothing to do. You just bake. Just lay there and watch those little colored things the inside of your eyelids. <laughs> it's useless. I can't relax in the sun and the sand. I can't. What else do you expect on a beach? I don't know. But why don't you go into the sea and cool off? Yeah, maybe I will. Huh? It used to be when he went into the water, you'd come out and get dried off. But super tankers have changed all that. Now you get scraped off. <laughs> You know, this was about the time when there were a lot of oil leaks from ships, especially going through the channel and up in the North Sea, although we filmed this uh, down in the uh, Devon, which is, I think, on the Atlantic. But at any rate, the water was cold, really cold. I had to go in there and I had to completely immerse myself in the water. Um, and I'm not much for cold anyway, but I did it. And then I had to come out and they had to cover me with uh, oil sludge and send me back in and then I had to come out again with, uh, with all the oil sludge all over me. So it was a very memorable day for me um, and uh, I applauded my own courage for, for doing that. But hey, you suffer for your art, right? 
This next scene, um, it shows you uh, my sort of um, stubbornness about having a romantic dinner. It's bound and determined to have this nomadic, romantic dinner, no matter what the circumstances. And this is what happens. Casino may not be grand. The hotel might look like Stalag 17, but this makes up for it all. Oh, it's lovely, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Signore, the maitre d' asked if you'd like to dine inside. Oh, no, this is fine. Uh, but the weather report. No, this is fine here, really. It's our last day here, and we want to have a nice romantic dinner by the sea. Okay. Thank you. Uh, would you like to order? Oh, yeah, we've decided. We're going to start with the uh, with the soup. And we're both going to have the veal marsala with your special pasta. Uh, yeah. And uh, the house red. Very good, signore. Thank you. These Italian waiters, they kill me. He's not kidding me. The only reason he mentioned anything about the weather, he's too lazy to bring the food out here. Actually, Kelly, it is getting a little bit chilly. The power of suggestion. <laughs> Works every time. Candles just burn out. Hmm? <laughs> oh, no problem. I'll take care of that. In a jiffy. Third reason why I quit smoking. <laughs> Cheap magic. A soup. Uh, hmm? uh, you're sure you don't want a table inside? No, we're fine. Thank but you very much. But, signore, the radio report says... No, look, we're fine. Thank you. Thank you. Leave it. Kelly, you, you sure we shouldn't... Look, it's gonna blow over now. It's just an early evening breeze. Now, I promised you a nice romantic dinner by the sea, and by God, that's what we're going to have. <laughs> Good soup! <laughs> nice and hot! <laughs> Well, once again, we threw everything but the kitchen sink at uh, Gabrielle, but uh, the trooper that she was, she stuck it and hung in there. Uh, she opted not to do series three. She went on to do bigger and better things and, and remain friends. And she's a delightful actress and uh, we really missed her on series three. Well, thanks for watching. That was episode eight. Be sure and tune in for episode nine. We have some, um, I think you might uh, be surprised about what we have. Uh, and I, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed this episode and we will see you next week. So in the meantime, take care, good night, farewell, stay safe, stay healthy, and away we go.